let your speech be always with grace, season with salt. Now, salt can sting you. It also can heal up a wound. Let your speech be with grace, season with salt. God's prophets are not uh, sugar sticks, they're salty. That ye may know how you ought to answer every man. <laughs> the Christian should be ready to answer any man any question he asks him about his faith and belief. And study to show thyself approved unto God, that you might be not be ashamed, put to shame. Uh, let your grace, let your uh, be known to God, that you might might know how you ought to answer every man, how you ought to talk back and answer the man. When he tells us to write to divide the word of truth, he's talking about that you might uh, please God and not be put to shame by a bunch of smart alecks who don't know the Bible. He said that you may know how you ought to answer every man. Now, that's very clear. In another place, he says, let when a man speaks, quote, let him speak as the oracles of God. That's oral. That's what God said. Do you do that? Do you one way you know that America is completely shot and in a final apostasy before being wiped off the map? By the way Christians talk. They quit talking Bible. They quit quoting Scripture. If you want to see something, go to the Library of Congress and pick you up about uh, several thousand books that were written between 1700 and 1900 in America. And see how many of the ordinary people in them, as well as the big shots, continually quote Scripture in their lives, and they're not called to preach. It was part of the part, part of the speech of America, or the Scripture. You get the early books that were given to kids to study out of who were five, six, and seven years old. They had a Scripture in them, and you used Scripture for the kid to learn how to speak English. Not anymore. Now, you can tell by the words. Uh, a lot of you probably haven't checked this, but you may have noticed if you've studied preachers carefully, as I have for maybe 60 years now, you'd be amazed how the Bible words are gotten rid of. The new Bibles don't say doctrine. Nine times out of ten, they say teaching. You get there, there you, oh, you find all kinds of funny things. You don't find the word hell. They refuse to translate it and left it Hades. Now, the way you spot the people that are fooling with uh, rotten language and rotten teaching are a number of key words. I'll give them to you. This is how you spot a modern conservative preacher who's trying to make time with apostates and not offend the liberals and demonstrate that he's educated. Perspective. That'll be one of the words. It'll come up again and again and again. Next, priority. Never choice, never the will, the priority, never the first and most important thing, priority. The next one is focus. Instead of you know, to think about the thing and study the thing, you're to focus on it. Now, those are the words that are taught in the socialistic studies in humanism in the colleges. And the conservative preachers pick them up to indicate that they're smart. All they've done is drop the, the Lord's Word and are giving you the words of the land of Canaan. You want another beauty? Spa share. Watch that word share. To share with you, share with you, share with you. That's the word for shear. It's to cut something in half and put half over here and half over there and share it. That's communism. That's a big word. Share. You know another one you want need to watch? Value. They quit saying morals. Instead, you have values. Now, that's college stuff. That comes from trying to pretend that you're smart because you've been to a socialism class on humanism. That aren't, those aren't Bible words. Your values. You mean your, your moral beliefs? You mean your morals, your, they have to do with morality. Values. And some people sin is valuable to them, so they practice it. Another one is, I'm excited about this. We're so excited about this. That's women's talk from a socialist classes in college. I'm so excited about this thing we're going to take. Sure you are. You're going to get money out of the suckers. I'm so excited about this new book that we're selling. I'm so excited about this trip we're taking together. Only cost you 500 bucks. 
Now, that stuff is the language of Canaan. That's the world. Perspective, priority, focus, share, values, excited. Bible terminology is something entirely different. You get words like imputed, advocate. You get words like sin. You get words like doctrine. You get words like hell. You get words like justification, sanctification, regeneration, redemption, remission. Those are Bible words, and they've gone out of the American vocabulary even with the Christians.